one of the things that I do want to leave you with here is because now that you know mindset and marketplace, we're going to now talk shopping. How many of you like shopping? Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes it's fun to shop even when you don't have to shop, right? <laughs> well, shopping, home shopping, uh, has gotten pretty advanced. You know, years and years ago, it was just done in paper, right? And then the internet came out, and things started to move and progress towards the internet. Well, today, as a home buyer, using the internet, it can actually be pretty tricky especially in the state of Montana. Montana is a non-disclosure state. We're one of 12. It means we're still a minority in the country that is a non-disclosure state, but we are a non-disclosure state, and probably so. What that means is price and other pertinent data on real estate transactions is not recorded at the courthouse. So it's not readily available. It's not public information. In fact, as agents, it's our job to protect that information from really being, being, becoming public. So third-party sites like Zillow and Trulia and even Realtor.com have a very hard time keeping up with the data out that, that they project that is out there for you to consider shopping. My solution is to work directly. Okay? If you zap that QR code, which is also in your textbooks with your smartphone, that'll put my app on your phone or your tablet for free. It's a piece of cake. It's free. It's not gonna, there's no solicitation in it whatsoever. It's simply just a tool for you to use. And what I love about it being mobile is you can actually literally be walking the streets of your neighborhood, see a house for sale, just pull it up, it'll find where you are, it'll show you all the real estate activity in your area and show you what's active, okay? It, it does also show you houses, you know, you have to know how to look at it to see if the house is under contract or not, or just shoot me a message because you can do that right through the app. But it's really, really cool. And here's what's important about it. If you're entering into an arena where it is seller advantageous and you're a buyer and you want to be stronger, I suggest you use the best tools out there. Yes, you can use Zillow, but chances are that real estate that you're looking at on Zillow might not have already been sold. I've had that happen before where people thought it was on the market, but it had sold months ago and they just hadn't updated their resources. So shop like a boss, zap that code, or you can even find it at epicrealty.com. And in conclusion, 